can't get my whole foot flat. I can't really get my heels down. Now, what are some solutions? Guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, and today we're doing a video for those of you who have short statures and can't touch the floor with your feet. We're going to talk about some potential solutions here. All right, so obviously what that would look like, I don't have that issue, but if you are on a bench that is propped up, especially benching on a fat pad, I actually changed this pad out. I had a fat pad, but because of the height of it. It was causing a lot of issues for me getting my feet down where I wanted and causing issues at meets. So I got Tiny Meeker's pad. He makes a great pad here. It's nice, great cushion, great cushion. You can fall asleep in this thing. It's very thin. All right, so you have to consider what you're benching on. All right, now if I have a problem, let's just say get my feet down. All right, my feet hover somewhere around here. I can't get my whole foot flat. I can't really get my heels down, okay? Now, what are some solutions? All right, you could try to go closer. If it's something where you just can't get out wide, you could go a little bit closer. Um, you know, it's not ideal. Obviously, you create more stability if you can widen your base. But if you're in here, as long as you're squeezing the glutes, driving your knees out, if you can get to the floor, that's awesome, okay? Um, some other things you could consider is doing a toes back approach. So if all you can get is about the, the balls of your toes down anyway, you might want to think about going to a toes back. The only thing with that is if you're on your tippy toes, you're better off with a different solution, okay? But if you can get on the balls of your feet, that might be a better stance for you, okay? So another thing you can do is instead of wearing these flat shoes right here, you can use boots. All right, now what boots allow you to do in the bench press is it's gonna give you more height. All right, so you see it's not a thin bottom on the boots, all right? There's a lot more cushion to it. All right, this is favorable for creating good leverage on the bench if you need it, okay? A lot of toes back benchers like to use boots. Um, also, boots are great just for someone who can't get their feet down very effectively. Now, you can get different sized boots, okay? These are just some Under Armour boots that I picked up, but uh, you can get a thick boot if you want a work boot, something like that that you could potentially bench and that'll give you good leverage, okay? The other thing you can do is use a heeled shoe. So those shoes that you see lifters squat with, the lifters, the Olympic lifters wear them, you have the heel to them, you can wear that on the bench press. If you're not already, they're very common, but that will give you more height too and it'll keep you solid to the floor. So that's another option in footwear that'll get you closer to the floor so that you could potentially widen out and create that leverage that you're looking to get if you have shorter limbs. And then your other option, especially if your federation allows it, usually foot blocks are appropriate. You can see here, I have a couple DC blocks set up underneath my feet. Now this will give me more height. This will essentially bring the floor up to me as opposed to where we were trying to get our footwear down to the floor. So. I can train with blocks. They do get a little bit slippery, all right? They're, they're conducive to the toes back, but if I'm benching feet out flat, you know, you wanna push away from the floor, blocks slide very easily. So what you'll usually have to do is put um, a big weight in front, okay? Just to hold this from sliding. Or, you know, I've seen situations where at a meet, if you can use foot blocks, you have someone stand in front just to keep the block from moving. Okay, not touching you in any way, but just making sure the blocks don't move. Okay, so those are some options for meets. Um, using the foot blocks, like I said, they tend to slide a bit, so you're gonna have to anchor them down, but it might be a good solution if you're training uh, in a situation where you can't touch the floor and that your federation allows foot blocks. Uh, I've even seen custom foot blocks at meets. Okay, so that would be the approach that I would take. I would look to see if you are effective in the toes back stance. I would then look to select different footwear to get you where you need to be. And then if all that fails, I would go to blocks, raise the floor up to you, and then um, see if that helps any. And then also keep in account what you're benching on, okay? Is this a competition height? Is it like, essentially a fat pad, right? Giving you too much height? You know, what's the issue there? All right, Coach Ben here. You know where to find me. 
You can meet me. On a bench. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here and the most recent video down here. And if you're interested in joining our online coaching program, you can check out the link in the description box.